I'm back on this uh, mill riser block uh, project and uh, one of the issues that I'm coming up against is that the um, inside diameter of this lump of steel which uh, is about eight inches high inch and a half wall thickness and uh, 340 millimeter internal diameter is uh, larger than the internal diameter of that is actually larger than the internal diameter here on the top of the column and uh, normally the um, top of the turret here has got a spigot that fits down into this uh, inside diameter on the top of the column and you see that this surface and the bottom of this surface is uh, nicely flat and possibly even scraped in. This uh, spider that I've got sitting here normally fits up the other way and up underneath this um, uh, top of the column and the bolts come down through the top here into the spider and clamp the two pieces together. You can see there that the thickness of the uh, top of this column is quite thick chunk of steel and uh, anyway I can't turn a spigot or a register on the top of the uh, uh, riser block to locate in this inside diameter like the turret currently does so I've been trying to come up with a method that um, is relatively simple to get those two pieces to register and what I've done here and uh, is I've turned up some uh, spaces or rollers if you like here that the outside diameter of this matches the internal diameter of the uh, riser block and the and the uh, lower section there um, matches the internal diameter of the top of the column here and they're spaced across spaced in there using the spider and uh, these pieces will actually go in that location later but the spider will be up underneath and and these pieces will just roll around on the long bolts they're 14 inch bolts that'll go down through here and through the spacer down through these uh, rollers i'll call them and then through with the uh, with the uh, spider up underneath uh, that will give a register between the uh, on uh, this surface here which will rub on the inside diameter of the uh, riser which is the 340 millimeter diameter uh, and it's supposed to be nice and circular ground because it's an ex uh, um, hydraulic cylinder and uh, I've got this I've got this spider currently um, I can oh I can roll that around in there at the moment on those um, on those uh, spaces so that's going to give a reasonable register it's going to th th this uh, this spider doesn't have a lip on it that locates on uh, locates on that internal diameter so that spider can normally float but with this arrangement it can't float and and the uh, and and the inside diameter of the uh, riser block will be located on the four rollers and uh, should have the ability to be able to rotate because uh, the whole the idea of the turret is that you can rotate the turret not that I ever have I just really want the extra eight inches in there now at the top because there's not going to be no register between the top of the turret and the uh, and the riser block I've got some um, rollers that will fit up at the top of the uh, 
bolts and I'll have a spacer in between the, this one and the top roller so that the roller at the top also gives a register for the turret based on where these um, uh, hold down bolts are located. I'm, uh, I'm expecting that these holes will be accurately drilled the same as the the same as the spider and therefore the diameter the, the larger diameter of these spaces will be the same I've made those already at uh, about 43 millimeter diameter to take up the difference and register so that way I only need to machine the top and the bottom of this riser block flat and uh, not worry about trying to turn any sort of rebate in it or or make uh, make allowance for some sort of register with the uh, with the uh, mill block so uh, it means this job is just a, a lathe job that I can do while this mills in bits and because uh, uh, one of my plans was to mill pockets in the top here and bolt a uh, tabs or something in here that created a register which I would then probably mill a curve on them. This look, this only gives a point contact uh, to register. It would be, it would have been nice to have a a concave block in here that, to register against the uh, internal diameter of the top of the column there, but uh, I think this is going to suffice given that. It uh, may never be moved, and if it does, as long as you release the pressure on the bolts, it's it's most basically going to be a friction fit uh, between the two, and that uh, it's not going to slide off because of the register I'm creating. Um, but it may not be as nice a fit as the spigot under there into the top of that column was. But we'll see how it goes. So that's what I'm progressing with. I'll uh, get back to you when I've got a bit more done.